The finalist for Best Comeback. Wrestling versus Edinburgh at the Virginia Duels. The Monarchs face the number 10 team in the country, Edinburgh, in the third place match at the Duels. The Fighting Scots jumped out to a 12-4 lead after the first five bouts, but ODU came back to win four of the last five weight classes to earn the 16-15 victory. Women's basketball versus Western Kentucky in the Conference USA semifinals. After trailing by as many as 22 points in the semifinals of the 2015 Conference USA Tournament, Old Dominion mounted a comeback of epic proportions. As it turned out, WKU made two free throws with just six seconds remaining in the game to spoil the comeback in heartbreaking fashion. Women's Soccer versus Western Kentucky. After six consecutive road games, the Old Dominion women's soccer team returned home to take on Western Kentucky. The Lady Monarchs would come from behind with just 10 players for an improbable 2-1 double overtime win. And the winner for best comeback is football over FIU. Trailing by seven with time running down, Ray Laurie plunged in from two yards out to tie the score, and Philante Mischer's interception set up Satchel Ziffer's game-winning field goal. The, the finalist for biggest, biggest win. Men's tennis, a 4-3 win over number 66 South Alabama after South Alabama defeated ODU just one weekend before. ODU Sailing, the ODU Sailing team won the CNU Women's Regatta for their first win of the spring season. Rowing versus North Carolina, the Monarchs opened the spring season with the ODU Invite where they raced against the University of North Carolina. ODU won four of six races against UNC, including the Varsity 8 and second Varsity 8 races in record-setting time. The V8 won in the newly named John R. Broderick boat with a time of 6.29.07, while the 2 V8 won in the newly named Kate Broderick boat with a time of 6.35.72. Football over Louisiana Tech. Trailing the eventual Conference USA West Division champions by 10 at halftime, ODU pitched a second half shutout, and Taylor Heineke tossed an overtime touchdown pass to David Washington to give the Monarchs the win. Men's basketball versus VCU. Junior guard Aaron Baycoat scored a career high 31 points to lead the Monarchs to a 73 67 win over number 14 VCU in front of a sellout crowd at the Ted. The victory was the Monarchs' first over a nationally ranked team since beating then number 11 Georgetown back in 2009. Lacrosse comeback versus UC Davis. ODU faced UC Davis for the first time in program history and came out with a 12 8 victory. The Monarchs were down by two goals with five minutes left in the first period, but closed out the contest with an 8 2 run led by three goals from Jessica Liberty to claim the victory. And the winner for biggest win is men's soccer versus South Carolina. The ODU Soccer Monarchs claimed the 2014 Conference USA Men's Soccer Championship title behind goals from Sidney Rivera and Jeffrey Hill for a 2-1 win over South Carolina. The CUSA crown is the first for the Monarchs who received the league's automatic bid to the NCAA tournament and the first Conference USA Championship for ODU in any sport. The finalists for Best Individual Performance. Wrestling's Tristan Warner wins the Elite 89 award again. Warner became just the second Division I wrestler to win back-to-back -back Elite 89 awards, which is presented to the student athlete with the highest cumulative grade point average participating at the NCAA championships. Warner holds a 3.984 cumulative GPA and has earned academic All-American laurels and NWCA Division I All-Academic Team honors over his career at ODU. Baseball's P.J. Higgins with two home runs at UTSA. Junior third baseman P.J. Higgins belted two homers in the Monarchs' 11-2 win at UTSA. He led the game off with a solo homer, then slammed a two-run shot in his next at bat. Women's basketball, Jenny Sims, 45 points at FIU. Jenny Sims moved to second all-time in Lady Monarchs history for most points in a single game by putting up 45 and leading ODU to a road win at FIU, 80-67. Only Ann Donovan has scored more points in a Lady Monarch uniform as Sims took over Ing Nissen's spot in the ODU record books. Wrestling's two All-Americans. 
Chris McCarty and Alexander Richardson each earned All-American honors in their respective weight classes, marking the first time since 1991 that two ODU wrestlers have achieved that feat in the same season. Senior golfer Jamison Randall. Randall tied for six with teammates Ashton Newsom and Seth Sweet to help ODU capture the Golf Week Tournament Championships in the fall. Randall finished the regular season with five top 15 finishes. And the winner for best individual performance is Rachel Eckert. Eckert became the first Old Dominion University diver to qualify for the NCAA championships. She also won both the one and three meter dives at the Conference USA Championships and was named CUSA Diver of the Year. The finalists for Breakthrough Athlete. Men's basketball, Trey Freeman. In addition to his game-winning shot against Murray State in the NIT quarterfinals, Trey Freeman was named Conference USA Newcomer of the Year, first team All-CUSA, and selected to the Conference USA All-Academic Squad. He finished third in the league in scoring with 16.9 points per game. Women's golfer Maggie Simmermacher. Simmermacher, a freshman from Argentina, was named Conference USA Golfer of the Week three times as she finished in the top four in three different tournaments for the Lady Monarchs. Sydney Rivera. Rivera ranked 38th nationally and third in Conference USA with nine goals, eight of which he scored in the last six games of the season, four in the Conference USA tournament. The Conference USA tournament offensive MVP was selected in the fourth round of the MLS draft and signed with the Orlando City SC Lions. Football's Ray Lawry. Laurie was named Conference USA Freshman of the Year after rushing for 947 yards and scoring 16 touchdowns. And the winner of the Breakthrough Athlete of the Year, women's tennis, Borislava Botashrova. Botashrova was the number six ranked newcomer slash freshman in the entire NCA entering her first semester at ODU. She followed that up by compiling an astonishing 18 and two singles, one loss record for the women's tennis team this year while playing in the number one slot as a true freshman. The, the finalists for best play. Men's soccer, Sydney Rivera in the Conference USA Tournament. Rivera scored four goals in the CUSA tourney, including a goal in the championship match against South Carolina as ODU captured the CUSA title and advanced to the NCAA tournament. Heineke to Pascal versus FIU. Taylor Heineke scrambled out of the pocket, eluding a defender on the sidelines before spotting Zach Pascal in the back of the end zone for an ODU touchdown. Field hockey, Rosario Villagra's overtime goal versus Delaware. The 19th ranked Monarchs face Delaware at home, and thanks to Rosario Villagra, they earned the victory. As the match went into overtime, three minutes in, Villagra used her stick skills to float the ball over the goalie's outstretched hands and get the victory. Women's basketball, Halepainen three-pointer versus Louisiana Tech. A made Annika Halepainen three-pointer with just three seconds left in the game lifted the visiting Lady Monarchs over Louisiana Tech 72-71. The magical shot capped off a game in which Annika led the way for Old Dominion, netting 26 points on 10 for 15 shooting. Falante Mischer interception. With ODU and FIU appearing to be headed to overtime, Falante Mischer intercepted a deflected pass that set up ODU's game-winning field goal in the 38-35 victory over the Panthers. Baseball's Connor Myers. Connor Myers made two outstanding diving catches in the Old Dominion game against Bryant. The last one was a game saver in the ninth to preserve the Monarchs' 9-8 win. And the winner for best play is Trey Freeman with the shot versus Murray State. Baker cuts, gets the ball to Trey Freeman. Two, one, stops. Good if it goes for Freeman. Yes! It's good. Yes! Yes! It's good! Freeman banks one in at the buzzer, and the Monarchs 